Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, you learn about AWS services. We are starting a new crash course about AWS Glue and Lake Formation. And in this particular tutorial, we are give, going to give you introduction about the course and also get started with the labs. So purpose of this course is to give you, to make you understand the fundamentals of AWS Guru and Lake Formation. And we'll do that in a very easy and structured way by discussing topic by topic. We'll also provide you hands-on experience. And towards the end of the course, we will share some advanced topics which you can use to enhance your knowledge further in both AWS Glue and Lake Formation. Just to give you introduction, AWS Glue is a serverless integration service from AWS which can be used to create ETL jobs and pipeline for your data platform. And AWS Lake Formation is a service which can be used to set up a secure and centralized data lake for your organization. The topic, this course will going to be covered into the following eight topics. So we will start with talking about what Glue Data Catalog is. Then we will immediately jump on to how do you access control to the data. Then we talk about Glue Crawler, which can be used to automatically catalog your data. Then we come back to Glue Data Catalog again, because we want to discuss some, some of the more properties and feature of the data glue, cat, uh, glue Data Catalog. Then we talk about data um, glue jobs and how to use Glue Studio to create glue jobs. Then we discuss glue workflow, which can be used to orchestrate glue jobs and crawlers to create ETL pipelines. And finally, we close with some of the advanced topic, which you can use to enhance your knowledge about glue and lake formation. So these are the topics you are going to cover under the course. When you learn about a particular topic, first we are going to discuss about the topic and then we are then I'm going to do a hands-on lab and you can follow lab along with me and that way we can do lab together. The way each of the topic has uh, associated lab and it is recommended that you all the labs in a particular sequence because these labs depend on each other. So lab three will depend on lab two and, and so on. So if you're doing a lab in continuous in the sequence given uh, as the topic are discussed, you will be able to cover lab across all the topics we are going to discuss uh, in this course about glue and lake formation. What you need to have as a prerequisite, you need to have an active AWS account of your own, which you can use for the labs. And you should have administrative access to the account so that you can create any of the services or resources required into AWS account for the lab purpose. So let's quickly do a lab. And what we are going to do in this lab is first, uh, you are going to download uh, lab files, which you will use across your course. And link for these lab files has been given in the description box below. Uh, so you can simply click on the description uh, on that link and download the lab files. And then that lab files you can use across all the course, all the topics. Then you need to log in to your AWS account using your uh, administrative uh, access user account. And then we are going to create VPC endpoint for S3 and Glue in default VPC. And this configuration is going to get used later in the course, but I'm just doing it so that you get some fundamental and basic configuration uh, ready and in place. So let's jump to the lab activity. So here uh, I have to logged into AWS console and I'm using this AWS user I am account and this AWS user has got administrative access in my uh, AWS account. So whichever AWS account you're going to use for the lab activities, please make, make sure the login which you're using to log into the AWS uh, console, that login or that user account has got administrative access on the AWS account. 
when you download your lab files you will and you that's a zip file and when you unzip it you're going to see a file structure like this and each of these file uh, structures each of, each of these folders have got files required for their respective modules so for instance when you're doing lab for uh, glue data lake you will simply use resource inside this particular folder when you are uh, going to work on glue job and glue studio then you use this particular um, um, folder so all the resources related to the lab have been organized into different folders and you're simply going to use it when you're doing lab for that for any uh, particular topic okay so let's go back to AWS console and the two of the activities which we need to do uh, uh, in today's lab is to create S3 and glue endpoints and these S3 and glue endpoints are used by glue job and glue, wor uh, glue workflow. Uh, if you are working with any uh, VPC based resource like um, databases uh, or um, trying to make API called uh, uh, to uh, API called uh, um, um, either to the internet or to any of the service hosted into a VPC. So let's create uh, endpoints uh, in VPC for gl uh, glue and S3. So I go to VPC management console. And there, uh, in the left hand side, you can see these endpoints uh, menu. I simply click on that. Then I'm going to create an endpoint. First, I will create S3 endpoint. So here I uh, select my service category as AWS services. I'm going to filter on S3. I select my um, S3 uh, gateway service. Make sure you select your default VPC uh, over here. Okay. Then make sure you select your uh, root table, uh, which is associated with your three subnets. Then in your uh, policies, you have full access for now. And then you simply create the endpoint. So it is going to create an S3 endpoint, which is used by glue letter when we create the glue jobs and so on. Now we need to create, uh, we have created S3 endpoint uh, uh, gateway. Now we are going to create an S3 endpoint, uh, VPC endpoint for glue. So let's click on the create endpoint again. And this time we are going to uh, select again AWS services, click on uh, glue and select uh, com uh, dot aws uh, sorry amazon aws dot eu west one glue by the way we are using um, ireland as the region over here and i will recommend that you choose the ireland as the region so that uh, we are on the same region when we are working with aws services and there is no mismatch in terms of features and capability Again, you make sure you select uh, your default VPC. So you might have multiple VPC, but make sure you select default VPC. Select all the three subnets in the, all the three, three availability zone and their subnets into uh, subnet area. And then uh, make sure you have enabled this endpoint. Uh, make sure you have selected a default security group. And in the policy, give full access again and simply click on create endpoint. And this is going to create a VPC endpoint for glue. Now, if you go to your service, uh, if you go to your endpoints, you can see your S3 endpoint is already available, but your glue endpoint is right now in pending. But if you wait for a couple of uh, second or minute, then this will also turn into available. So that was all for the lab for the module one. So we are one. We are done with the module one or topic one. Now see you again in next topic when we talk about glue data catalog. So see you again in the next module.